Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. This is Artifacts of Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News for August 4th, 2014. And today we're going to talk about border news, obviously, the invasion news. There's a bunch of different things out there about it. Uh, one thing from Infowars.com. Don't know what it means, but it's kind of ominous. Signs posted for illegals increasingly written in Chinese. Uh, from what I understand, they've been coming over, people from everywhere are coming over the uh, border. They post emer emergency beacons placed in de desolate border areas which allow stranded illegals to request help from Border Patrol. I have instructions in English, Spanish, and Chinese. But back in 2001, when they were first deployed, instructions were written only in Chinese. English and Spanish, not Chinese. Since then, human smuggling has exploded into, exploded into a billion dollar institution with people of various nationalities paying smugglers, known as coyotes, thousands of dollars to be transported illegally into the United States. Chinese are paying $50,000, Indians are paying 10000 20000 for all Central Americans, the average is about $7,000, and Mexicans are $3,000, so it's a huge, huge money event for the cartels, probably even more lucrative than the drug business. So there you have it. They're tr intentionally trying to... Uh, accommodate the illegals from China, which is, of course, a big concern because China is growing more and more uh, aggressive lately. In the meantime, Senator Senator Deborah Deborah Fisher, a Republican of any, whatever any is. And six other senators say the border crisis will get worse once we start cooling down. So, uh, what she's saying is once winter gets here, it's going to get worse, basically. Senators John Cornyn, Texas, Susan Collins, Angus King, John Boozman, John Barrasso, and Heidi Heitkamp, who's a Democrat, and the rest of them are Republicans. Well, Angus King is an independent, so this is a bipartisan thing. I've been going down to uh, the border and saying, hey, what the hell's up with this? It's just going to get worse once the weather gets uh, colder. Which is kind of the opposite I expected, but shows how much I know. And we have some commentary on this. One from the right, one from the left. 
One, this story is from, uh, Geraldo is going around and around with, uh, Matt Drudge, who does the Drudge Report, and he, Geraldo is basically saying it's all scare tactics, there's nothing wrong, and shame on Matt Drudge for saying that this is coming in, and yeah, well, Matt Drudge is not the only one talking about it. Geraldo, of course, is, if I'm not mistaken, of Mexican descent. I mean, he's here legally, and he doesn't apparently care about the illegals coming in. His millions of subscribers referring to Drudge would be justified in thinking he's unlike it. Undocumented Im immigrant children, other than all wise known as the illegals, posed a threat to our way of life since 1918 it flu pandemic, the Great Depression, and the Civil War. He's being sarcastic. He doesn't like drudge, let me put it to you that way. And on the other side of the political spectrum, you have Patrick Buchanan, who uh, is decrying the coming, he calls it obama where Obama is thinking about waving his magic pen, bypassing con Congress and just granting amnesty to every illegal that's coming into this country. And I agree with Patrick Buchanan, the border has to be sealed. And the illegals deported to their home countries. And then, I think we need to make their home countries pay for having sent the illegals here in the first place. So Patrick Buchanan, I agree with him and I don't agree with Geraldo at all. He thinks that Geraldo, that uh, Obama is going to do amnesty for five million illegals, and he's probably right. Okay. And we have another story. Leaked CP, CBP report shows our entire world exploiting U.S. open border. This is from Breitbart. Yeah. Leaked intelligence analysis from the Customs and Border Pro Protection reveals the exact number of illegals entering and attempting to enter the U.S. from every nation on Earth. The report was obtained from trusted source within the CBP agency who leaked the document and spoke with Breitbart on condition of anonymity. The report is labeled as unclassified for official use only. The data is classified as sensitive but should be handled as sensitive but unclassified. Not familiar with that. Basically, you and I aren't supposed to read it. That's what I'm to. So, they're coming in from every country, and that includes from um, places where they have Ebola, by the way. They've, they caught about a dozen of them coming in from countries where the Ebola is running rampant.
So what it says, what this is saying essentially is that they're coming in from everywhere. We are being screwed. That's what it amounts to. Now we're going to do some Ebola news because it relates directly. One thing is, from healthmat.org, from pigs to monkeys, Ebola goes airborne. Investigators in Canada were making their own headlines of their own with research indicating deadly virus may spread between species through the air. That's right. It can go airborne. They tried What they did is they had uh, they put some macaques which are known to carry the virus in cages with side by side with pigs. And they separated the pigs from the macaques. And lo and behold, the pigs got Ebola. Well, The only problem is with this one is that they inoculated the pigs with the Zaire strain of the Ebola virus, which is the worst strain, kills 90%. Well, here's what happened is it went from the pigs to the monkeys. I was reading this wrong. So they uh, put the pigs and they put the virus in the pigs and they separated the pigs from the monkeys and then the monkeys caught Ebola from the pigs. So, let me give you a little scenario here. I'm sorry if I got that mixed up. You need to understand something. Uh, let's say Ebola gets loose in pigs. Uh, in swine in this country. Maybe a few other animals. And then... People go around the hogs and catch the virus, you get my drift, of course they deny that it's gone airborne even after they do the uh, research on it. So basically <laughs> what you have is we're screwed. That disease is getting loose. There's no less sense of butt spot. It's over 800 in Africa now with its latest outbreak. They've been able to contain it before, and I've never really cared that much, but now, we're screwed. And they have one in London. Ebola terror at Gatwick as passenger collapses and dies getting off Sierra Leone fight. Flight. And I think that she had Ebola. So, Ebola fears. She collapsed on the plane as she, and died as she got off the plane at Gatwick. She was puking and all this stuff. She was very, very sick, obviously. So, They think that it may have spread to London. 
But once it gets loose in the Western world, despite the naysayers, I think we're going to be dead. That's my personal opinion. It's horrible. Well, I'm going to wrap things up uh, with a story from my Dillgaff section. Do I look like I give a, well, you know. Fish smokes a cigarette. Animal rights activists are going bonkers because of a video that was posted that's gone viral of a fish smoking a cigarette. I don't know what kind of fish it is. It's an ugly cuss. This is from the mirror.co.uk. I actually thought it was pretty funny. It's less than a minute. And you hear people talking in a foreign language. I don't know what the language is. But you gotta... If you get a chance to see this, take a look at the video, because it, it, as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty funny. Animal rights people have their underwear in a bunch, but that's their problem, not mine. Art I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for listening to Tyranny Watch News. Have a good day.